Hey guys, so I need to replace my fuel filter. Uh, it's over full, needs replacing. So, things you'll need. <clears throat> if you can't find one, you're gonna need a fuel filter wrench. It's basically a big circle with a handle on the end. It's got some tabs on the inside to take the top relief valve off. If you don't have that, just a, a large set of lock jaws or a large set of pliers, something like that. Uh, the fuel filters, of course, a small O-ring and a large O-ring, and about 15 minutes. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to replace this fuel filter here. As you can see, it's full. Fuel's right up to here, okay, and that's where it needs to be. So, first thing we got to do is remove that top cap to release the air. And then there's a, a valve right back here. Dump that into a bottle, unscrew this, pop it out. light a cigarette, smoke it. If you don't have a lighter, use matches. Okay, so this pops off in the middle. This is the old grommet. that 
on there. Turns on there nice. Pop this on. So it's on there, it's tight. <clears throat> we'll put that in a plastic bag and I'm gonna throw that jug out. Proper way to dispose of it. Light it on fire and throw in the garbage, run. No, I don't know, just tie it up in a plastic bag and uh, throw it in the garbage. Look at that, a neighbor showed up. Nice. Boosh. Alright, so now we're going to start it up and uh, let it run for a bit. See it just going away. So guys all is well fuel filter replaced I can let the secret out now that's my first one never done it before uh, but it's pretty basic you know just it's like replacing an oil filter just got to drain the fuel uh, save it because you want to need to reprime it uh, take the caps off replace the filters put the o-rings put everything back together so there it is guys hope you learned something <laughs>